decided to something like the dog and the cat just sound like they're playing I decided to do a late night live here last second I guess I almost wasn't going to go live but almost but then I started watching this video on um that Killer Looks has on Marlena Crawford. And I thought that we could go over it together. So let's see who's today's wiener is. Oh my gosh. Brian Brimmer. Never knew you were into wieners. Congratulations. Hey, Judy, Kathy, Robin. <laughs> Lip lock. Hey, everybody. Oh, thank you, LTL. It's a little bit see through, isn't it? I'm, it's, it is like see through. I'm just not seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, one second, but <clears throat> hey, sweet D. To go out, I get a large drink right now. You know, I don't need that in my life. A large drink. You know I'm not drinking alcohol, right? I'm not like Jody Sue. I don't drink liquor out of a big gulp. So I have me a kettle. Let's see here. What can I? Yeah, that's too, uh, that's too sheer. I think it's also the lighting, too. It's making it even worse. <laughs> oh, man. So I started watching Killer Looks video and thought it'd be something that we could go over. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm back. So now we don't have any wardrobe malfunctions or whatever, or mishaps. Probably be on the safe side. We better be on the safe side. Even though it's like 70 degrees out. I thought it was supposed to be see-through. It kind of is, I think, but it's more like an undershirt and... I don't know. With the lighting, it just makes it worse. Like you could see <laughs> everything. So anyways, I put in the description the link to 
Color Looks video that we're going to first go over. And I was actually listening to part of it with Fred. I And I was like, I guess I'll go live and just listen to this live. Because me and Fred were stopping it every two seconds and like had comments on it. Um, and things that were she was saying that I knew, I knew it wasn't true. I mean, at least it didn't match up things that I, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right. So you got killer looks here. Let's read. Every time I speak of them, flies off the handle and wants everybody to stop talking about them. I've been threatened by this person. Come on, Marlena Crawford. Now, when I talked about Marlena before, she went crazy, threatened me with her uncle who worked, was over the case that worked at the sheriff's office. A very simple formula. Everybody's a suspect. You, you told me there was a girl that you suspected when I had talked to you that was coming around that, yeah. that hung out with some riffraff. And what was her name? Alina or, or something Marlena. like that? Marlena Crawford. And I have no qualms about spreading her name because I think the fact of the matter is the bitch come up here with Bobby Dice when she knew exactly. Wait. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say. Uncle Pruitt? Are you serious? Are you serious? Is 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 Detective Pruitt really related to Marlena Crawford? I mean, I know everybody's out there is related, okay? I know it it's not the it's not like but who is she referring to when she says her uncle? I wonder if Fred is listening and who he would think that would be. Okay. I wonder who her uncle would be on the... Um, no, this was all the way at the beginning. I can't... It was about uh, threatening with her uncle. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. Everybody's a suspect. You, you told me there was a girl that you suspected when I had talked to you that was coming around that, yeah. that hung out with some riffraff. And what was her name? Alina or, or something Marlena. like that? Marlena Crawford. And I have no qualms about spreading her name because I think the fact of the matter is the bitch come up here with Bobby Dice when she knew exactly because we was trying to help her at the time. And we give her all kinds of money. We done everything we could to help her. See, see, this is what the first thing that me and Fred both knew off the. I knew that wasn't true. Bobby Dykes. I mean, I don't know everybody around there and stuff, but I knew that didn't sound right. And the reason why I knew it didn't sound right is because of a story that I remember Brittany had told me. Brittany is the step ex-stepdaughter, I guess I should say, of uh, Billy Shipley. And she told me, Brittany told me stories about Marlena Crawford and, you know, her man how they go around stealing stuff and selling stuff to people Brittany said she would buy stuff off of daniel and um and marlena sometimes that was one of the stories she told me about that i was like so upset did not get recorded you know that's i really that's the lady i really wanted to talk to because she knew a lot about marlena crawford daniel hayes which is marlena crawford's baby daddy okay 
this baby Bobby Dykes, like I that does not make sense to me and doesn't make sense to even Fred either. I th for some reason, I feel like he's it's actually Daniel Hayes. And for some reason, he doesn't want to mention Daniel Hayes. And he's saying this Bobby Dykes name instead. That's just my theory and in my opinion. Because Daniel Hayes and Marlena Crawford, I know for a fact, go around and steal stuff, steal stuff and resell it to people. I know it's been, a, I've heard this story from more than one, more than one person from people who know him. Even Brittany admitted to buying stuff off Daniel and stuff. We hear this story also from Don here in a second. I don't think it's Bobby Dykes. Also, yeah, okay. Thank you for reminding me about that too. The Tucker thing. Is that the Tucker over? Is that the Tucker? Is he the, is he? Yeah, the owner of, that's what I was wondering too. I saw about that. Um, Michael Tucker that was arrested. Um, hold on. Let me send that to myself. I don't know who owns. I know. I don't know what his first name is, though. Richard Tucker. Tucker. Oh, okay. There's a Michael Tucker that was um, arrested today in Jonesboro um, with aggravated sexual exploitation of a minor. He was 48 years old, and this is in Jonesboro, which is, yeah, that's kind of, we know that Don's worked in that area, so I wonder if this Michael Tucker is any relation to Richard. Anyways, let's keep listening and w think of what I just told you while, while listening to this. I'm going to rewind it again and think of what I just told you about when he keeps mentioning this Bobby Dykes character. Um, F Fred said Bobby Dykes does, doesn't even like Marlena. They don't even, or that, I don't know if he said that he doesn't even like him. He said that Bo they don't even hang out. So, and I and when and I already I already knew that this I, so this is super super suspicious and it really makes me look suspiciously at Daniel Hayes, um, who by the way is Jody Sue's tattoo artist. And by the way, was the one who was going around saying that it was supposed to be their daughter that was kidnapped. Baby father used to steal, but recently in this year, it just came out that she was sick. Well, Marlena doesn't have her child. She doesn't take care of her child. That's good, though. It's probably, that's the best, <laughs> the best situation for the child right now. So it's fine. It's great for the child. Formula. Everybody's a suspect. You, you told me there was a girl that you suspected when I had talked to you that was coming around that, yeah. that hung out with some riffraff. And what was her name? Alina or, or something Marlena. like that? Marlena Crawford. And I have no qualms about spreading her name because I think the fact of the matter is the bitch come up here with Bobby Dykes when she knew exactly because we were trying to help her at the time. And we gave her all kinds of money. We done everything we could to help her. We babysitted her daughter. She come up here and dump her fucking daughter off. Sorry, I don't mean to say it like that. Sorry, my bad. Excuse me, please. But she come up here and take bring her daughter up here. She's a precious little girl, beautiful little girl. And she would just dump her off here for weeks at a time while she went out and done her dog or whatever the hell she done. Uh -huh. And uh, I didn't have a problem with that, but she, she was taking advantage of us. And and then when she knew where me and Candace were at a certain point in time, she brought her cousin or whoever she is, a friend, Bobby Dykes up here and they stole every tool out of my shed that they could, and everything that they could steal. So.
See, I, we don't, I don't understand why he won't mention Daniel Hayes. Like, that's really strange. Like, that's what he's known for. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's just one of the things that that dude's known for. Kind of makes me feel like he's purposely omitting, omitting his name. It makes me look at, I don't know. I don't know what game or whatever they're playing, but then again, my daughter said that they were packing her a suitcase to make her go away as she was taking a trip. So I don't know. Yeah. Was your my daughter, daughter was, there before? My daddy, my daughter was there four days before. My, da my daughter was there on that, fr that Friday before that Tuesday she was missing. What was it? What, what was that day like? Was you there? No, um, her grandmother, Summer's grandmother, brought my daughter home. Oh, Marlena's daughter's birthday party. So, <laughs> well, according to Fred, Marlena Crawford's on tape saying that she was on the Hill on the 15th. Um, and I'm pretty sure she was definitely up there on the Hill on the 14th. I'm pretty, pretty sure. So it's just weird that she is trying to say she wasn't up there. Um, hey, one love. Yeah, Jiggy, I have been kind of sick with a respiratory situation going on for like a couple weeks, but it, it seems to get worse at night. Oh no, Grant is six everyone home that Candace seems to bring up there. Yeah. Um she's saying that Grandis brought her home. I don't think I don't know if that's really true. I'm wondering more and more if that was Marlena Crawford in that milk jug video. I don't know. This is all alleged entertainment purposes only. <laughs> I I don't know about that. I, yeah, um, yeah, she was up there for a while. Oh, hey, I want to correct something too about this list. Nothing against like any, not against uh, in, any of this work. This is awesome that you're keeping this, but um, just. Jason didn't OD, um, so he was actually murdered. And, you know, I just, and, yeah, it's still, it's still to this day really uh, miss. It's still, it still hasn't really been solved. Uh And Fred didn't say, Cotton said, hid Summer's body by, he didn't say that. And this yellow Nissan, I don't know, that doesn't make sense either because the yellow vehicle in question is like Stara, which is completely different. And the Nissan that Fred has a truck and yeah, Fred said that Cotton told a story, was talking about or had said something about this area and yeah, but he didn't say that for sure that Fred said for sure that Cotton did that. Um, friend of summer and photo. <laughs> Damn. Plus the Maddox too, that she is, uh, not only is she Rick, Ricky Crawford's girlfriend and like current girlfriend, she actually was also married to Earl Taylor when he passed away. And that's like a big thing you should add to this list because, but this is good though. I wish I kept stuff like this, you know? 
But um, Crystal Spencer also on the bottom, she she is the one that she's um, has a child with. Um, what's his name that we were talking about yesterday? David Britt. And Crystal Spencer is the one that um, Don was caught or was caught with on the couch. And yeah. You know, Marlena's daughter, but Marlena, I don't. I don't, I don't want to say nothing bad about her either. I've already said all I've had to say about her. Journey. You're talking about Journey. Still. Yeah, Marlene. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Earl Taylor was the brother of Crystal Spencer? Is that true? Fred just told me that Earl Taylor was the brother of Crystal Spencer. Is that freaking really true? Oh my God. Okay, it's fine. Uh, one love. Oh my God, guys. I don't know, Nanya. I'll have to ask him, but I'm kind of mind blown right now. This is kind of a, if, okay, that's crazy. So that makes Earl Taylor's death even more suspicious. It was a day after Summer went missing. Earl Taylor was married to, to Clesta Maddox, was Clesta Maddox's husband, who is Ricky Crawford's current girlfriend, and was at the time of Earl Taylor's death. There was a weird relationship there. Um, Clesta was married to Earl Taylor, but was currently with Ricky Crawford when Earl Taylor died. And his death was ruled a... Uh, I think an accident or um so that is really concerning that crystal spencer um is huh, earl taylor's brother that's like i didn't know that because I was already, that shit was already suspicious to begin with. The Earl Taylor stuff. And his death and the day after uh, Summer's disappearance. And, you know, how he is in this love triangle with Ricky Crawford and Clesta Maddox. And, you know, and Ricky Crawford is Marlena Crawford's brother. And, and... It just a lot of stuff goes back to the Crawfords, Marlena, especially. Um, seems. Yeah, it was supposed to be what an accidental death or something. And like they tried to say, I mean, I talked to people surrounding his death and like I talked to a few people and people were like some of his like pretty much everybody I talked to in his family were like, no, like, um. He was really depressed, and they really didn't seem to think that any there was foul play. I mean, the people I talked to, for some reason. <laughs> she... Sorry about the dog. Yeah, they found him face down in a creek. In it was in Greene County. 
um, or in, yeah, was it Greene County in, um, uh, trying to remember what town it was. And yeah, Brianna. Bandit, shush. Here, let's listen. While she, he's barking away, we'll listen to some. And his daughter's name is Journey. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, man, we've well, already been through that. Um, yeah. These people, these people go out and steal and sell whatever they steal for drug money to get high. I mean, that's what they do. We try to keep them away from our house and stuff. But on the other end of the spectrum, you know, like Marlena, we tried to help her out and until we realized that she just wanted money for drugs. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know, and uh, she dumped her daughter off at her house. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a sad situation. But about two weeks before her summer come on this one, I told Candace, uh, you need to take Journey to her her grandparents' house or her cousin's house and get her. We ain't doing this. You know, because Marlena would just dump her off at her house and just leave her there and, and go out and party or whatever she was doing. And I'm not going to do that. So about two weeks before someone comes missing, Candace took Journey to her grandparents' house and put her in safe hands. And then, um, about it sounds like that's where she needed to be maybe right then. Right. Yeah, because Marlena was just dumping her off at her house and just leaving her. We well, wouldn't even see Marlena. She didn't. She didn't give it out. To be honest, Marlena yeah. the Marlena was the type of person. If you was friends with her, she'd come over to your house, and if you wasn't home, she'd steal everything off your porch <laughs> and everything well, else. Marlena had stole birth certificates. One specifically belonging to a five-year-old. Oh. Told me when she called me, she said that um oh, she, she was in the me. kitchen. Yeah, she called me the day that she went missing. Oh, okay. She I called me at one. seven. I get that one out there recorded too, but okay. She called me at seven thirty that night and told me that she had been summer had been missing for like thirty minutes, and that they were out there looking for her. And I was like, well, then you need to call the law if you haven't found her. You need to call the law. She's young. I said, and you need to call somebody. So, Dawn so they're, saying, they're saying it was 6.30. Well, I got to call at 7.30. Okay. Whoa. The cops should have been there by 7, 7.20 or 7.05, I think, or something already. And Candace never went for a walk. When she told that shit, she was lying straight the hell up. <laughs> Kevin, um, our, Candace you, never walked around that place at all. What she do you never think went for doing? walk. What do you think I think was, her and her mama was doing whatever drugs she got that day. I mean, maybe they're, my kids are looking at it like, well, maybe God will bring her back. or I don't know. But statistically speaking, I mean, there's, there's a good chance she's already dead if you look at it statistically. And I hate to think that I love her with all my heart. Her only God. You know, if, if nothing else, you know, I'll, I'll see her in the resurrection. As long as I keep the commandments and I do what I'm supposed to do, I'll see her in the commandments. He was saying that from day one, guys. From literally, actually, we should say from, from his, okay, the earliest we know that he was saying that those words from, you know, witnesses was... What what was it eight thirty? <laughs> right before they wired up Fred. Well, had him record things. Wiring up is kind of a 
That's not all. It was just a recorder. So that was about, so it took like, if she really went missing around what they, when they called like a six or whatever, or whatever, then, uh, oh my gosh, they need to watch their language. My daughter has a friend here and I hear them not saying good words. Um, I believe they said a relative picked her up. And that whole packing her bags and stuff like that, too. I don't know. I think there's trouble in paradise. I think, I believe, I believe Don Candidates and Marlena Crawford, all of them are involved in. And, you know, a couple others I've already talked about. I don't have to talk about them again. But I think they just had trouble in par paradise and they've just all turned on each other and some are pissed at the others and whatever. I think their, their whole plan somehow, I don't think some of it must have fell through. And I think some people are not happy. Hey, Candy. I heard that you were, um, nobody, uh, I don't know if you were in the hospital or whatever. Somebody was asking for prayers for you the other day. So it's good to see you. All right, let's. We came and told my dad not less than probably about two and a half months ago that he had to start sacrifice her for the sins that they had committed. So that right there is the same story that Rick Crawford told Fred. So you guys, you heard it from me. Or from Fred, I should say, before you even heard it from Marlena Crawford. That should be more evidence that Fred is telling the truth. Like, if we've got two people saying it, she's backing up what Fred already said. That Rick Crawford was saying that that she said that Don was saying he sacrificed Summer for his sins. Fred told us back that back in, like, December of 2021. Talks about the boys somewhat. I heard there's some. Ish, I heard there's also trouble in paradise with that too, with white boy and Dawn and all that situation. That he had to sacrifice her for the sins that they had committed. Summer. Mm hmm. Did that have something to do with the church? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He had to sacrifice her to get to get good in God's graces or something. He told my dad that they had to sacrifice her, which, you know, back in the day, they always had to sacrifice somebody they loved to get their sins washed away or whatever, the evil way. And that's what he told my father. With that new church that SDA thing? whatever church they were going to at that time. I think it's that woman, but, but then again, at Christmas time, I swear to God, I thought I'd seen, I'd seen someone. I could still see her, that little girl to this day. Um, and it's whole parking lot and nobody ever when they made, for her. Yeah. When they made sacrifice, like, did they, did they have to give her to the church or did they have to, like, I don't know. He said he had to sacrifice her for her sins, but I'm guessing that he had to kill her or they had to kill her. I don't know. But then again, that comes back that, you know, he was a dope head. He was a cocaine addict and he was a meth addict. He was a drunk. I mean, he was violent. And then, like I said, in May, when I went over there, he, uh, I asked her if he had been 
out on one of his binges and she said no not yet but i feel like it's coming he left the same damn night and never came back for a week he seems to do that he kind of did that over christmas too mm-hmm. he does um, it a lot Um, nobody knows who his dealer is down there though but that like i i mean like a lot of people said you get mixed up in the cartel and did you hear what she was about to say thank you so much be real yay thank you thank you so much for becoming a member but did you guys just hear what she said nobody knows who his drug dealer is I think I do. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Kind of, kind of. I don't know the guy's, like, actual name, but I know his street name. And it's out of Knoxville. Well, thank you, B-Roll. Right? She left her daughter there. So, exactly. So, he does. He takes off all all the time to Knoxville. And it's he's brought... Other people know about it, too. I wish Lips didn't put this loud thunder noise in the background. But, I mean, I am appreciative that... She did put out this one. I wish she would put out all she has with Marlena Crawford, just everything. I think that Marlena Crawford is a huge piece to this puzzle. So, some dismissed Marlena for day one. I always thought there was some truth or clues in what she said. It's that Playboy. Yes, that's what I believe. Yeah, LTL, um, Bill Shipley has a Playboy tattoo. I know that. Right here. Owing people a lot of money. They'll make you give up on your kids or they'll kill your whole family. And we're we're, we're summer with blonde hair and blue eyes. I wouldn't admit that for a minute. I wouldn't admit that for a minute. Great right. Crawford was his name. And he and and he told you like he was talking about that uh, Don had come up there. They used to paint and stuff together, uh-huh. work together and stuff, and probably run coke and everything back in the day. The way I was taking it, uh-huh. you know, I just the way I gathered it from him. I, I assume I soon make eyes on myself. But, but anyway, he's talking about going to come to him and was, I guess, feeling guilty the way he talked and was saying that they had sacrificed her to do away with her sins and stuff. And then something about they had, at the, something about her organ, something about they had taken solar organs or something other that was how they had had the extra money and stuff around down there at the time talking about it they wish they hadn't done it and stuff now then and stuff. but that just is what i was told how did how did he that's how would he have gotten a whole found somebody that would buy or or how did i wonder if he, how he got in touch with him. i feel like a church out there you know, it got something to do with it too. I feel like it's a cult like church. December 18, 2021. Marlena Crawford has a Facebook post. Okay, so, so okay, so uh, December 2021, he's saying, okay, so that conversation with Fred was in December around the same time that he's talking about, December of 2021 or January of 2022. Like the very beginning or the very end of 2021 um and that was before this marlena crawford interview because it was the fred hill interview that sparked people's interest to talk to marlena or look into marlena 
four 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 in chat. Yep, maybe that's what has been wrong with me for seven months. Watching and this it says it's a her, now we have to remember her father did pass away too, but what month did he? He didn't pass away seven months. Was December 18, 2021. Watching someone you love pass away or, or die is an image you never forget. Seven months from December is what month? Hmm? If you count June, it's June. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Uh-oh. Maybe it's... Her bed didn't pass away until so, so way later. Yeah. Lena Crawford is in her late 30s and has a minor daughter. Allegedly homeless, a drug addict. Her father passed away on March 9th of 2022. December 18th, 2021. Watching someone you love pass away or, or die is an image you never forget. Seven months from December is what month? If you count June, it's June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so, wow, we got through that faster than I thought we would. So, <laughs> so, look how I've torn up those freaking 1950s <laughs> currents. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, sh hold on. I need to yell at my daughter real quick. They're laughing like it's funny. Um, Jody, Jody Sue always, always takes up for Marlena. Well, probably maybe it has to do with the fact that Jody Sue is good friends with Daniel Hayes and that's her tattoo artist <laughs> and Daniel Hayes is a I mean I don't know their status of their relationship now but they were together Daniel Hayes and Marlena but anyways have you done a reading on yeah it's been a while like since I've drawn some, I have some cards right here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hold on. Let me see something here. So I didn't see a message. I think. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought I had missed a message from one of you guys. Um lose my color oh well thank you candy marlena crawford isn't daniel hayes an rso <sighs> let me look at before i say anything because i want to say Why are now they're playing? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hold on. Are they seriously playing genuine from like nineteen ninety nine? Or no, that's even genuine. Gosh, that's even like freaking before that. Are you kidding? That's like 1992. I'm not going to do it here, Candy. No. <laughs> I don't do readings over here. 
I don't see uh, Daniel Hayes. I mean, as far as in Tennessee. But for some reason, that kind of makes me think that kind of rung a bell with me. She sent me a text. She sent me a text then and said Rick had shot himself. Wait, what? What do you mean? That's that's what Fred just sent me. Said she sent me probably about Marlena. She sent me a text. Then and said Ricky had shot him. But he didn't, did he? Wait, I'm confused. Ricky Crawford, his her brother. Bobby Dykes is Ricky and Marlena Crawford's um brother okay well yeah he has told the sacrifice thing more than once chad daniel hayes Oh, man. She's, she sent me a text then. Her brother. But he's alive. I mean, isn't he still alive? I'm so confused. I'm going to just have to talk to Fred. <laughs> on the phone about that later, I guess. Um, I always put. I, hold on, I need to tell them to turn on this music. I don't know what they think they're doing. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at look how the freaking dogs have torn up the freaking curtains. It's crazy. Guess her brother's still alive. Where's Marlena? Uh for a second did you guys explaining his little shovel yes I did buy some color what the heck is I I mean this came with the house and <laughs> now because my internet Uh, uh, uh. No. Healthy. 
is if it starts hopefully here let me try this one oh crap i might lose you Well, <laughs> I don't know. Old school is the best. Oh my gosh, maybe I should turn off my camera. That might help it, the connection a little bit. I could just uh, turn off the camera. That curtain is really offensive anyways <laughs> but it makes me mad when i see it seriously uh so let me see here Oh, I know. Electronic medium. Your father passing. He passed on my birthday. That's crazy. I'm really sorry to hear that. Paul is saying what he was doing. Yeah. I know he put a post about his shovel, like nobody really cares and how it's a multitasking tool and it can be, you know, also used as a weapon and, you know, it can <laughs> freaking double for a, um, I don't know, like it's a military tool and it, it turns 90 degrees. I learned all kinds of things. Encompassing tool. All uh, all encompassing tool. Exactly. Well, he had the uh, gun, too. He has a gun. He has a freaking all encompassing freaking shovel. The magic shovel. Yeah, it extends too, guys. Not only is it does it do all those other things, it extends it actually into a bigger, a, a big boy shovel. <laughs> oh gosh. Either a lot of people hated my commentary on Ryan's video or, or <laughs> it has to be one of these two, Ryan uh, like made a whole bunch of freaking fake accounts and disliked like hit that video over and over again. <laughs> because every time I look at it, like seriously, like nobody cares that much about Ryan. Like I'm not that stupid. I'm not that stupid. Like, seriously, there is not that many people that's disliking that Ryan video. I, I know he, he seriously, before I went, before he started coming around my channel and started talking to Fred and me, he only had, he had like only a hundred and some subscribers. Seriously. Nobody really cares about that guy that much. Um, <sighs> 
So I know that dude is obsessing over that and is sending a bunch, of, making a bunch of accounts and sitting there disliking that video over and over and over again. Stir radiation waste. <laughs> Yeah, it doubles as a stirrer, a, a poop soup stirrer, too. <laughs> a radiation poop. Ew. Yeah. Did you know Ryan could sue the... the Ryan could... I was actually... Fred was even saying, and I was like, oh, yes. I think it was Fred that... Ryan could sue Andy for exposing him to that radiation poop. I mean, his his wife was sitting there freaking stirring it like it was stew. You know, like it was a big freaking bowl of stew. <laughs> like a witch's brew. <laughs> I mean, I'm so sorry. I felt kind of bad for her because he made her look so silly. But like... Fred made an interesting point that Ryan could sue Andy for exposing him to that radiation. And he was saying, I can't believe that hazmat hasn't been in there and made them clean that shit up. You can I sleep? I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I know he was sending a bunch of people to, he was making accounts. That guy obsesses. Like, he cares too much what people think about him. Like, so bad. I just can tell. I mean, look at the freaking novels he wrote on a shovel and some other hate that, or, you know, him talking about the hate he gets, like, from a particular creator. <laughs> My cheeks hurt. Oh, geez. You're an emergency dispatcher? Wow, that must be freaking really high stress. I can't imagine. I need to find my... Uh... I was thinking about that. You know, I've kind of just... You know, I think of things like that sometimes. What would it be like to do... Be this... Or to have that job. Or do this or do that. I need my nose spray. Can't breathe again. I don't know. I don't know. But that would be really stress. I I can't. Oh, here it is. I can't imagine. Um, I don't think I'd be able to handle some like something like that. I get too emotional. <laughs> You're waiting for her small. Oh, she did. She goes, it stinks. She like flicked it off and she's like, ew, it stinks. I'm like, dude, that's going to burn your freaking, burn through your skin. Who was it that messaged me and asked me if she had got a tetanus shot yet? Like, seriously. I mean, you guys think it's funny, but like, it is. In a way, but at the same time, it's, like, very true that it's dangerous. All that freaking, like, radiated poop soup up there. I mean, it sounds funny and stuff, but, I mean, it's so disgusting. How else do you, like... <sighs> That's got to be, like, some kind of, like, code violation or something. Jody Stool. <laughs> He fools the shovel back up and puts it in his backpack. <laughs> it's a mul he eats with that too. That's his what he eats his dinner with as well. It's it's multi-purpose. <laughs> it has so many uses, guys. 
I mean, who writes a whole novel about a freaking shovel? This guy, I think this guy asked for it though. Seriously, I really was just talking earlier saying I wanted to even not mention this guy because I know he wants me to mention him. I really do. Not just me. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm, he wants other everybody. He wants other people mentioning him too. Other creators just to get him more views because that's all the guy cares about. He's seriously like another chase, chase on the case. Four twenty. If we can even get that. Oh. Cleanups. Oh man, I can't even imagine crimes have consequences. No way. I don't think he was aware, you guys. Like that's how unprepared he is to be doing that stuff. I don't think he's aware. He's not educated enough in the case to be freaking even just. I mean, really. Because he's so biased. Like, he's not... He, he is so biased, like, big time. Just because he said that Andy reminds him of his buddies. Like, dude, your buddies must be weirdos then. Sorry. I mean, I know that sounds mean, but, like... It's like Ryan worships him or something. And it seemed like it happened overnight, too. That's another weird thing. It was like they talk once and it was like love at first sight. You know what I mean? That's what was weird. It's like, dude, this is... <laughs> Seriously, they talked at once and it was love at first sight. <sighs> it was all over for Ryan when he saw Andy. When he talked to Andy for the first time, it was all over. Right, Juno? I can't believe that Fred went over there and just trashed Andy's place. I mean, is that not the most ridiculous thing you guys ever heard in your life? I mean, it, you know how many people are actually going to believe that? Like, seriously, what's concerning is there's going to be about probably uh, about a good 15% of the people who watch that or so, one in or maybe 10% who watch it, and who actually freaking believe it? <laughs> yeah, do you know, um, Fred said it was actually... That was actually in good good condition compared to what he how he remembered it. The last time he had been up there, which was like when Jody Sue was having to move out and needing help catching one of her cats or whatever, she had she had asked Laura to help her or something. Um, and Laura and Fred and they went up there and he said. Like her mattress was like covered in poop and freaking cat, like cat shit and all kinds of freaking dog shit. Just, and she was just, you could tell she had just been sleeping in it. Like that's how nasty this, I mean, oh my God, dude. But it's so funny that they wanted to put it on. And I'm not even joking, guys. The time that I had, I didn't ever go in that camper at 207 but i did i was at the door at one time and when 
Laura and Fred answered the door and they were sitting on that. They had a bed like right inside the door and they were like sitting on that. Like they could bend over and pretty much open the door from sitting there. And the bed was like perfectly made. That's why I was like so shocked to see how badly trashed it was because Fred's actually kind of OCD about his living space. The, the stuff over there um, at 207, that's more like the work area. And then 165 is more like the living area. Um, but I think it's hilarious that because of 207 and the picture that's been painted of Fred, um, I mean, there was a lot of, I mean, I have to admit, it did, there is a, a lot of, there was a lot of stuff outside. It didn't, it wasn't like 207 was clean or something. But there is a lot of properties that look like that out there where people are working out stuff, working on stuff out in their yards. And anyways, but to sit there and Fred never blamed Andy or anybody else for coming out there, even though, like we know, even though Karen even said that there had been people squatting in there after Fred went to jail, Fred and Laura went to jail. Um, are you sure it's not, um, they had 207 for absolute auction? Are you sure it's not 165? Um, Scott? Because if that's true, that's my freaking phone just died. Um, if that's true, uh, he needs to look into that because he was under impression it was just it was one sixty five. Yeah, if you have that, um, if anybody has a copy of the auction paper or whatever, because I did see 165. Um, let me see if I missed. Hey, Per Garden. Hey, G crime. All right. My phone that I read, sit there and read chat on just died. So do I still have discord? Yeah. I, I mean, you can send me something there. I don't really use it, but Yeah, um, if you do have something on 207, because hey, Pin Tin Tin, let me. Uh, this is this is dead as a doornail, or whatever that doornail, doorknob, whatever the saying is. Sorry. 
since next to the house, Karen, Don's mom, owned and has sold now as a trucking company. Huh. You sent it? Dang it. Of course, I can't get into my freaking, I can't get into Discord right now because my phone is like, And uh, I don't know what email it was. Yeah, have to wait till my phone will come on so I can actually uh, check it out. But is it say, um, Scott, does it say, can you tell me if it says 207? Or does it say 165? Funeral home there at Morrison Cemetery is listening to the music. Oh, the day that Summer disappeared? Aw, thank you, Prayer Garden. Are you going live tonight? It does say 207. You check 165 and 167 and it didn't say anything. And it does to us. That's really strange. T today's actually the auction date for 207. My email is YouTube Ziggy at Outlook.com. If you if you have somebody here to send it to my email because I can't get in my Discord app right now because uh, Fred's adamant that it's not that two hundred seven is not and I, that would be news to him so yeah it's just we, I can't get into my phone to see Discord if you can email me it'd be awesome. I can't. Um, one sixty-five, like one of the property, one of Fred's family's property is being put up for auction. Um, two oh seven. Now, I do remember seeing something, but Fred's not over 207. He's over 165. Um, YouTube Ziggy at Outlook.com. on. No, because it's hooked to my old um, phone number, Pammy, and it's going to make me um, send a code to my to my old phone number that I don't have anymore, so I can't get into it from a different phone. Hmm. Yeah, what's the date it said? Okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right. Thank you, um, Scott. Let me see. What is this? I don't understand what this is. Hold on. Uh. Hmm. Hold on, I'll show you guys what he sent me. Um which one it okay yeah that's it <sighs> 207 this is on Zillow a five acre recreational site is ideal for camping and hunting wooded property with a creek along bottom this is auction number two on June 2nd of three properties being sold at absolute auction sold on site at noon Site 1-1455 Gilbreth Road in Mosh Mosham. I don't understand. Hold on. Yeah, see, this is one I'm seeing. I don't understand what that, I'm going to have to look into that. I don't know what that means, really. That's weird. But this is what we are aware of. Which is today um, at 11 a.m., Sale at public auction will be March 14th, 2024 at 11 a.m. local time in the usual and customary location. Um, hold on. Let me see what somebody just sent me an email to. Let me see. Oh, why did submit? This isn't what I'm needing to. Um, let me go back to what I was reading here. Um, and this is a for one. Ronald Fred Hill. Um, and this is for this is for the um, one sixty five property. What I don't know. We'll have to see why. I don't know why why it says that in Zillow. Um, Fred said we have a clear deed for two hundred seven. Is what he said. So. I think it's just 165, but I don't know. Um, okay, so that makes sense. Okay, so Bradley Hayes is the is the tattoo artist, I think, who is the RSO, is Jody Sue's tattoo artist, who is Daniel's brother. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's the correction. Texted me, I didn't get it. I haven't been getting texts. I don't, wait. Can somebody send me a like test? Test text because I haven't got any. Unless you maybe you sent it to my um, 
Google Voice and I can't access my freaking, that's on my old phone. It's dead right now. Okay, thank you. I got a testing text from Jane. Thank you so much. <laughs> it works. Making me think my number's not working. Um, Texas cannot be that much. I think it's $14,000 or something like that he'd have to come up with. I don't know. But he's kind of, um, he's kind of accepted it from what it sounds like. Nope, that one's not it. Um. Okay, so 19, 19 thousand is how much it would need need to be to save the property. Yeah, it's a it's being auctioned. It's a public auction today. Are you talking about two hundred seven? You hope it's not. I don't know. Well, he said it's a clear deed. See, they're two different prop. So one is uh, okay. The way Fred explains it, one is like his mom's home place, and one's his dad's home place, or something. I don't, I don't know. He'll probably message and tell me and correct me. So one was in his mom's, and one was in his dad's. Oh, they were actually divorced, guys. I forgot about that. So Fred's parents were actually divorced, like, um, when they passed away, I believe. They just got back together. Like, they weren't even together. They had been divorced for, like, 14 years or something, too. So that's something else to keep in mind from what I remember. Something about them being divorced and then getting... And the reason why... I don't know. I hope he's okay for me with me saying this. The reason why they divorced is because his mom poisoned his dad. So there's that. I won't get into details with that because I don't know how much I can tell <laughs> on that. But they're not alive anymore. So, um, yeah. That's just a small tidbit. She said, tell death to us part. <laughs> no, it's an insurance scheme. She was into insurance schemes. What do you think his sisters, his, well, I shouldn't say sisters. I should say one sister got it. There's one good sister and there's one wicked sister. <laughs> you know, every family has one, right? Everybody's got the like, Fred's kind of like the scapegoat or kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Very misunderstood. Then he has two sisters. One is, I mean, they're not very close all of them really especially the one sister Oh, I know about that, Jackie, about that environmental complaint. That was put in by the Redmonds. He knows about that. Nothing came of it, though. Everything's, like, good with it. But there really should be 
that's why Fred is wondering, like, how the heck has Andy got, like, I mean, I know it's more, much more secluded back there. That's probably why, because you can't see all the freaking shit barrels and fucking trash all over 125 from the road. But I don't know. Now that Andy posted that uh, and Ryan posted that, um, there might be some people paying a visit. I don't know. Not for me or anybody. I am, or because of me. I, I mean, I just hope. I mean, it's really, it's not safe to ha have radiation, radioactive poop in barrels. And then to have people up there freaking, like, freaking looking through, pretend looking through things and stirring, you know, we won't say it again. Smell when the wind blows. <laughs> I w no, they didn't, Jackie, at all. They didn't have a septic. Well, you know what? Okay, wait. Scratch that. Supposedly, supposedly, they put one in, what, 2015? Supposedly, and supposedly Jody Sue was just collecting her poop because um, she didn't want to, um, she, for some reason, she claimed she didn't want to contaminate the sewage. I don't, I don't know, but from research, uh, I don't think anybody told her, I've, from what I've heard people say, they don't tell you to do that when you're going through radiation. So I think she is full of poop. The same poop that, well, some of the same poop that she like, you know, you get it. She's going to be mad at me for this, but I'm just saying like, Yeah, I'm wondering, do they just freaking roll one of those red bar barrels down a big hill and say, Timber! And then there's a big, huge barrel of poop soup like that explodes everywhere. Radioactive poop soup for that. I guarantee they freaking throw those barrels off the side of fucking mountains and hills. Like, gross. What else are you going to do with it? Like, seriously, what else are you going to do with a bunch of barrels of shit? <laughs> a radioactive shit. I know me either, Sheba, but maybe I'm sheltered. <laughs> Timber. No, that's what I imagine them doing with those barrels of poop. I, I swear. That's what I imagine. Like, what else are you going to do with them? You're going to throw them off some type of mountain or something somewhere. And it's going to freaking, you know, think of where, oh, what all happens when that hits the bottom. I mean, ew. Ugh. Oh, my God. Freaking Jen had that splash up on her, too. That is so, like, disgusting, dude. I'm not even trying to be even funny. Like, one of you guys brought this up. It's your guys' fault. I do not take responsibility for this one. 
Your mom never went in a bucket and she had radiation. Huh. See, I wonder, see then, why was she doing that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how it works with radiation and stuff like that, but from everybody I've heard who's gone through it, they don't have to do that. You know, like, that's not something the doctor tells you to do or, you know, like the lady just commented saying when they were dealing with, uh, what is it, Hodgkin's lymphoma? They didn't have to do that. And she was never even told that her poop was radioactive either. It's just fun. It's just really, why don't they just tell the truth? They don't have a septic system up there and she was pooping in barrels. Like, but it's freaking disgusting. I just, I don't understand. I, oh my God, you've got to come up with something different than that. Yeah, that's why she, maybe she, that's why she told Dobbs to get soil and water samples done. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Fred said he didn't have to either. Fred went through cancer too. Don and Candace smell that come down. Andy... Side, they're gonna ew. Do they have bathroom plumbing in the cabin? No, she but not until no. But see, the whole family wasn't staying up there. Like, well, family. See, okay, they hadn't. They were actually in cloud apartments for a while. Jo and Jody Sue knows it, and she knows about cloud apartments very well. They left that place so disgust. I mean, just so freaking disgusting. They literally had to, people don't think they think that we're joking. They think we're bullshitting because it sounds so crazy and out there. Well, this time this is it's true. They had to tear down part of Cloud Apartments because of Jody Sue and Andy's apartment was so bad infested. Like, so bad. Then, up, so they go up at 125. Now, Andy's parents, I don't think, even really stayed at 125. They st When they're in the area, I hear they have a place in Florida, too. But I hear they have a place off of, uh, why do I want to say Mountain View? But I don't think that's it. But they do have another place and they don't stay at 125. There's no, there wasn't any septic up there, but Andy claims maybe, but claims in 120 or in 2015 they put one in, but why the poop and buckets in? Lone Star. Okay, that's the road that his parents live on. Some, or have a place on. I shouldn't say live on because they, they. I guess they stay at several pl different places. I didn't realize how many properties and stuff they have. I didn't realize like. So it's crazy. Like, what was it? He said also the place before. Like, they've always lived in places that didn't have plumbing and stuff. Like Fields Road too. It also doesn't have plumbing, and it was work. Fred said that it was worse than 125. Like they've always lived in that type of like environment. Like bad. Really, really bad.
Oh, I saw your email. Okay, Bree. I'll have to go over to a different live. If it's a different whole separate case. Let me see. Is my phone charging? Up? Okay, it's charging enough that I can finally power it on, I think. So. How did they not lose custody? Because, because the, they didn't raise the kids. That's why. Like, they hardly ever raise the kids. The kids have always been with the grandparents. Uh, Thel, what's her name? Thelma or... Uh, no. She's a sweet uh, lady that they used and abused. Andy moved from Cloud Apartments to Fields Road and then to Ben Hill, says Fred. So Andy moved from Cloud Apartments, then to Fields Road, where there's no plumbing. It's worse than freaking 125. Then you go to Ben Hill, where the same situation. Ask Fred if monkeys are for real. He'll tell you yes. He'll tell you, yes, he believes in the monkeys there. There were some that were released, I guess, up in a mountain or something a while back. And that's supposedly where they came from. I don't know. Let's see. But what were we talking about? The losing cut or the name of the grandmother. The monkeys are around because they heard there's tons of shit to sling, right? Well, this isn't even Mama T. They don't even have an outhouse, so like the, it's not like, that would be like the more normal thing to do is an outhouse, right? But no, they don't want to use, I mean, okay, Fleeta, that's the name, Fleeta. So that would be on, um, which that's weird, Fleeta Smith, because isn't, no, that's brown. So that's, that is, uh, Fleeta is on, is Andy's on. Grandmother on the, yeah, his grandmother. And they did have one outhouse, I guess, at one time, Fred said. I don't know. I don't know why they, well, if, why they aren't using, if it's full poop or what. If it's full of poop soup and they don't want to, I don't know why they're not utilizing it. Maybe he'll tell me here in a second. And one out house from 125. Is it still there or utilized or is it full of poop soup? And is that why they're just not? Hey, K-Crime, there's Burn Barrel. People have been wondering about her, but I, I am, that is true. It is important. Okay. So Daniel Hayes' brother is the RSO. So Marlena Crawford's baby daddy's brother is RSO. And that, that one is the one that is the tattoo artist and Jody Sue's buddy. And so that's another freaking pedo that, Jody Sue associates with and buddies up with. Because I swear she's like also defended Frank Light. Like he's some kind of good person. <laughs> it just runs off the hill. Oh, the outhouse just runs off the hill.
Oh. Okay. See, that's... See, that's how educated I am in outhouses. So, I mean, it's it would be normal for somebody to have one just run off the side of the mountain. I, I mean, what else are they going to do with... But see, that's what I'm saying. That Exactly. If that's how, so what else, what other way are they going to get rid of poop soup barrels? Whether it's got radiation or whatever in it, and it, I don't know, uh, whatever, whatever, whether it's radioactive or not. Still, what do you do with those? You know what I mean? I bet anything they're rolling them down a mountain. I mean, that's the logical thing to think. They showed an outhouse the other day. Oh, okay. Oh, um, whistle while you lurk. Um, Fred said if they would have gone behind, so 50 feet to the right of the house, and the house, I guess, is considered that building that where they look in the windows at the wood stove. And that's just like one room, a Simon, like everything. Um, but so that building, like 50 feet to the right of it, there's like this like shed looking thing. And behind that is where there is wooden barrels and also lots of more trash. And I guess it looks like a landfill. Why? I thought people in the country burn their trash. Why aren't they burning some of this stuff? Like, because did you guys see all that plastic all over Andy's property? Like that was like, so, I mean, how the hell is that not a problem? Plastic is the like so bad for the environment. Like, I think some people, like, environmentalists should be outraged. Why all the plastic everywhere? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I'm laughing, but seriously, though. You know, I'm not a big environmentalist or anything. I'm not going to fake the funk or anything. But I, all that plastic and plastic jugs and milk jugs and, you know, two liters and plastic bags that were everywhere and stuff. That can't be good. They're all feral up there. <laughs> feral. <laughs> um, Fred said if Ryan would have went behind the shop, he would have seen the outhouse they would have seen the wooden whiskey barrel and the second out. Oh, is there a second outhouse? Is there one or two outhouses? For 500,000 years, like, like wouldn't it have been, I don't know, guys, I'm not educated in burning trash. I really am not. So if this is a stupid thing, like, but wouldn't you rather burn it than just leave it out there? Wouldn't it be better? Or is it, or is the fumes bad or something? Like, why would you, I mean, at least it would break it or make it. I don't know. It's just weird. Seems really lazy. I'm just wondering if there's a reason why they weren't doing that. Because if you look at Fred's, they didn't really have like trash like that, really. They just had like junk everywhere. I mean, there was, I did see some, uh, well, at one time, I think I think they would burn it. Like they might have collected it. I think maybe for a while they did have some like cardboard and stuff in that one area by the driveway. 
but I think they would end up, they would gra burn it, end up burning it over time. But, and that's what, there was some kind of complaint. Right, there's no way LA searched that decades of trash piles somewhere could be hidden in there. Yeah. So there's two outhouses, Fred says, and the closest dump is 15 miles away. So it is a huge inconvenience. I do understand that the dump is so far away, but why weren't they burning anything? You know? Like 165 didn't look like that. And night. And there's no trash service that goes out there. Oh, I know. No, she can't talk about how the Wells lit, lived at all. No, she lived worse. Like, for she really did. Seriously, I mean, no hate. I'm not even trying to hate on her. I'm, that's for real. You know, at least Andy worked. You know what I mean? Andy was working. He's always at least worked got to give them that right so wouldn't it be like jody sue's responsibility to like kind of clean up around there a little bit maybe you know i mean what else is she doing being a holler bunny or what i mean from what i hear she and harley take care of her kids so Oh, my trash truck I had one in size. Oh, really, Jackie? Yeah, that's a would be a good business for somebody out there in Beach Creek to start, like a trash hallway service. I'm sure there's some like people around there that do it. I guarantee it. That's probably a big. That's probably a big business in Beach Creek. Trash hallway. You know, hauling away trash. Uh, hauling away junk. Hauling away whatever. I mean, though, these people know how to freaking get money out of everything with scrapping and, uh, you know, and that's something that was done over at 165 too. It's like, why were they, if they were, if they were looking for summer and evidence of summer, why were they like tearing out, um, they tore out, um, what is it called? They scrapped out the wires or whatever. In 165. Yeah, Karen. Yeah, she did that. Oh, we're looking for summer. Okay, sure you are. Um... I saw someone digging in cow a few years ago. I thought she lost her. Oh, and cow shit. Well, probably trying to find shrooms. Right? I don't know. Also, manure is really good for fertilizer, right? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? As, uh, <laughs> manure is... Yeah. Get the money for the copper and the wires. We pay $20 a month for it here in Hawkins County from a private company. Oh, okay, yeah. But I bet there's also people who, $20 a month, that's that's cheap. Would they go out to Beach Creek, though? Like, how often do they come out and get the trash?
Oh, G Crime said if Fred Halo is in here, please tell him I said hello from Australia. Too bad he didn't invite Equisearch too. Once per week. Well, that's cheap. Why hire somebody off Facebook Marketplace when you can get it for $20 a month? Yeah, I know they were looking for drug money. I know they weren't looking for summer. Yeah, and I don't know why. It, it doesn't make sense, Scott. Like, is that, is she guilty of something or is she just desperate for attention? What do you think? Like, I don't, it's, it's, it's like a toss up. What the hell? Somebody just sent me some crazy email. You guys, if you send me a crazy email, I'm telling you right now it's not safe. Okay? I'm just warning you, and it's always been the rule here at the Ziggy Show. If my calls are always recorded, always just assume my calls are recorded. And also... Also assume if you send me a really ridiculous email, I'm going to show everybody. Okay. Somebody that goes, you don't shine lady is the name of the person. Actually kind of reminds me, huh, the picture. Let's see. Let me uh, screenshot this. I will publicly shame you if you send me emails like this. Just because it's rude. And you don't have good intentions. So why should I care? I mean, you're not even making sense. This one's not even that bad, really, compared to some I've got. Really, Ziggy? Time you viewed your lives and actually listened to what you say. Previously, you mentioned you will not do true crime again because of the stress. You said this this after white boy outed share with her criminal records. Okay. I said I wouldn't be doing true crime again after Summer Wells' case, but has Summer Wells been found? Is she? Have we figured out what happened? That's why I said I said I want to do it because of the stress because af after the Summer Wells case. So then you say, look at all the made up stories of people. Then think how much stress would this cause them after you blab it all over YouTube, which is worldwide, as you say you don't want the stress. Seriously, woman, look at yourself and change your belief system and language. You are a disgrace to little Summer Wells. You don't shine, lady. Okay. Are you Marlena Crawford? It's weird because little Summer Wells, that sounded like something, um, the words that I heard Marlena Crawford say in that video with lips. I could have sworn she said little Summer Wells. And what made up stories? You have to tell me specifically. I love when people like email me or like, and there's 555 in chat, by the way. I love when people email me and tell me or 
come and chat and talk shit and say that I'm a liar, I'm a scammer, I'm this, but they won't say specifically like how, what made up stories of people? Tell me specifically, you have to, so I can address it. Like, how can I address it and fix something if I don't know what you're talking about? You just saying that, oh, look at all the made up stories of people. That doesn't make it true. I need to know, specific, you're not giving me specifics because you know, you probably can't think of any. Jody Sue Brown. I don't know. Um, I mean, the two days shines because you're in it. Two days shines because you're in it. You don't shine, lady. Two days shines because you're in it. But you don't shine, lady. I guess that's... I've never seen your name anywhere. If this is supposed to be some kind of screen late, uh, screen name or if you're trying to be... I don't know. Is that an insult or something? Like... You're talking in riddles. Is are you Jody Sue? Um, does he think happened in summer? I mean, he definitely thinks that. Um, Obviously, okay. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think specifically. If he, he has, he comes. He says it changes sometimes. Like, but it's hard to get past for him. The Andy on the road that day. He truly believes that and n believes that is truth and says. He's even discussed, talked with uh, with it or talked about it with law enforcement. Um, even seen footage and all that, time stamped. And even law enforcement supposedly told Andy. I, so it's hard for for him, I think, to get past the theory that Andy is somehow involved. I mean, that doesn't make him guilty being on Ben Hill Road, but like, it's just like, why? I don't know. Why are you? denying being on the road like and then the distancing and then he you know the like distancing himself from certain people i don't know and it's also hard for him to get away from the idea that it had to do with like some kind of uh drug or you know Oh, let me see. I don't know if he's. Karen's ex-boyfriend worked with Don. Now he's dead. Which one's that? Which one's that? Kenneth, what's is his name? Kenneth, what's his last name? Because I was talking to somebody about this, I think, the other day. Karen. Kenneth. Kenny. Kenny what? Kenny. Thompson? Hmm. Okay. Let me see what it is, Amy. Cause 
clear, et cetera, details of others who followed Andy and Holler. Well, one of the, so Julia, one of the, uh, one of the main details is there was a girl with Mississippi tags that came in um, and never was seen coming out on camera or anything. Now, there's rumors that are possible rumors that she's uh, a relative of the Redmonds in from college. Um, but Fred's still suspicious of that, I guess, because of some things he's told me recently. So Mississippi tags. Um, that was, a, um, forget the type. And now she with Jason Fox, Jason Fox. Wonder if Jason Fox is related to an Amy Fox. So, Okay, Mississippi tags. Um, then there's a dark truck, single cab. Um, there was two people in it, but you couldn't get any description of that. Very tar dark tinted windows, a GMC or Chevy truck. Um, dark color, like dark blueish, or, you know. Um, And Andy, the Kia Soul Silver. Now, the one vehicle with the Mississippi tags. Supposedly, that girl looked really young. You know, and I remember wondering if it was Andy, because before I knew who Andy's uh, girlfriend was and stuff, but here, guys, give me just two minutes. I'm going to go, I need to use the bathroom and grab something to drink real quick, okay? So here, maybe I have a, oh yeah, I have a little uh, intermission. I'll be right back. Try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in You, I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me Sorry about that. I guess I can probably go back on camera here and fix my curtain. It's really bothering me. <clears throat> I 
Oh, thank you, like, make me laugh too. It's really sweet. Let me see, I think my phone's probably charged good enough now. Yeah, so somebody was also saying, okay, so the tie, somebody was asking also about a birthday party or something for uh, summer. Um, that that Don wanted to go to that was in North Carolina or something. Um, from what I hear, I could be wrong, but I think that people were wondering who was in North Carolina. And I think there's some ties to extended family or... Hold on. Oh, thank you for the ca uh, the cash app. Hold on, let me uh, I didn't even see. That's why I didn't see because I was my phone was off. Oh, thank you, K Crime. She said, "Glad you're still going strong." Thank you so much. So, North Carolina. From what I hear, uh, Candace has some has a brother or something actually named I think Kenny. So that's why we were wondering if it's possibly the same. I was kind of wondering if that was who Karen's boyfriend was, was Candace's drug dealer brother. I don't, but anyways, I don't know. I don't think so. I think his name is like Kenneth Bly. Um, but they have ties, I, I think, to North Carolina. Yeah, that Logan guy, I just saw um, a subscriber named Logan in the chat. That makes me, rem reminds me about looking into that Logan guy too. You know? The one that supposedly was asking for some kind of deal for information on Summer Wells. And that would have been November, uh, last November. I believe, wait, mate, was it not last November? No, not last, no, yeah. No, it would have been, it was in December. South Carolina. <clears throat> This screen doesn't fold. That that this but it has the But see I I This one's locked and I I'm switching over to a different company and I want to use this phone but I still this one's locked and I can't use it and I love it. I mean, I, there's things I don't like about it. I don't usually use a tablet really that much. So <sighs> yeah, you know, what would be really a lot even more cool is if they had a stylus that would go with it because you would think with a, Tap, that would be, you know, it's Samsung and they're known for their stylus, their stylus and their Galaxy phones and their, what's the big note? Yeah, the note phone, that's always what I wanted. 
So you would think it had a stylus. I think probably the new Fold that's coming out probably has a stylus from what I hear. They're, you know. I did try to swap out the SIM card. It won't, it has to be unlocked. I See that Sky News thing? I don't know what to believe with that. That guy I hear is like a quack. Yeah. Heard someone's chat that Candace had an older half sister. Catherine from her dad was married. Yeah. And so she has a, another sister who's like a. I think it's from her dad, but her dad's her adopted dad. So he's, I don't think he's her biological dad. So it's just. So I don't know how close she is to these people. So a person in North Carolina was a woman that befriended Candace in her Facebook group and wanted to throw a party. No relation to the Wells at all. You saw the cat? Lillian. Lillian. Who's Lillian? Remind me of what Lillian is. Lillian, what do you mean by Lillian? <laughs> see the pics? I did see. Um, yeah, somebody did send me something about. Okay, here, hold on. A girl going missing in Minnesota. What the heck? Here, hold on, let me, um, I don't know what this is, but somebody sent it to me. Um, if anybody messages me on Facebook, it will pop up just so you know. Uh, so, Ashley is home safe finally. We had to get her in Minnesota. Courtney tried to convince her that she was a missing girl from Minnesota, but we were able to intercept her devious plans. Thank you all for your prayers and for reaching out. I'm so grateful to have her home and she's happy to be back with her family. Be on lookout. My special needs 19 year old granddaughter, Ashley Diamond, missing and possibly in danger. She is believed to be taken by a woman, Courtney Warren, who met her in the last eight weeks and potentially manipulated and possibly drugged Ashley. We do know the woman has taken Ashley off of her medications, depression and anxiety meds and diabetic medication, and has taken her phone and tablet from her so she is unable to communicate freely with anyone. The woman allegedly named Courtney Warren, who has her known address in Norman, Oklahoma. I lived in Norman, Oklahoma for a short time. Westminster, Colorado, Parker, Colorado, and Missouri and Kansas. She was told to bring her home by Ashley's grandparents, Sue Diamond. And she immediately left Ashley's local community, community in Longtown, Oklahoma with her and called taunting the family from Topeka, Kansas. She said she was bringing her back to Oklahoma on October 14, 2023, and then had Ashley call her grandparents after 11 p.m. on October 14, 2023, and she was distraught and confused. She sounded like she was given a short script and sounded terrified when asked where she was and where the 
where the woman was she was she was crying and said she didn't know and then the call ended and the phone was shut off again this is a girl who has non who was non-stop on social media and talking with friends and family before this woman allegedly preyed on her and did her and did take her devices please share these photos far and wide ashley is 19 years old approximately five foot two 205 pounds Courtney is 44 years old, short hair, approximately 5'6", 5'7", to 140 pounds. What is this, though? It looks like they've been... I don't understand. Somebody said, look at the little girl, but I don't understand why that... To me, they look like they are related, these two. I re oh, I already read it all. I did read it all. Hmm. Huh. Well, I don't understand why that girl would, why you think that girl would have anything to do with Summer Wells. That's just confusing to me. I don't know. I just, I think that's a long shot to just think that she's somehow, you know, I, unless I'm not getting something, you know what I mean? I could be missing something. Okay, hold on. I don't know. I don't know really what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, it's good to hear that she's uh, home safe, but I don't under, I don't, I think if the girl was in danger, they would have mentioned something about the girl being in danger. No, she's not the child that I showed the other night. I don't. From what I understood in the comments, the little girl looks like the guy. The guy could be her dad, and he's using Summer's case to keep tabs on the daughter racing. From what I understood in the comments, the little girl looks like the guy. He's in Minnesota. I have never heard him having ties to Minnesota, but, you know, who knows? Yeah. There's so many. For some reason, just like Marlena Crawford was saying, there's so many. There's such a, a desire for blonde hair, blue eyed little girls. And that's I don't understand. creepy so I mean and there's a lot of 
a lot of little kids. You have to pay. No, you don't. Uh, um, you know what? Off of seventeen twenty nine, they changed some things. Yes, I think so. I think now you do have to freaking pay them to be able to. They changed it. I noticed that the other day, like they make it. You have to have YouTube Premium now to in order to be able to like stream it or something on or to not stream it, to um, cast it onto your TV. It used to be, isn't that what they added? Was it, wasn't it that? There's something that's changed with Premiere now that is crappy. Oh, oh, I know. You can't play, hit play next anymore either. Maybe you can put it on, cast it to your TV. I have I haven't. But I know now you can't hit play next. Like if you want to play a video after something you're watching, you can't do that unless you have premium. Okay, so it's fine to cast. Okay, so you can still cast the TV. Yeah, try to hit play next on, like, haven't you, have you ever listened to music on YouTube and, or whatever, or you just been watching certain types of videos and you just hit play next, you know, to add kind of a queue of videos to watch? Well, you can't do that anymore unless you have premium Uh, I, I personally, uh, Wist think that Marlene is a key, key person surrounding this, but that's just an opinion, of course. What the heck? I what? Oh my god. Okie Bree, where'd you come up with that? I'm not saying you're not educated. What the hell? I'm just saying I don't believe I don't either I don't understand where you're coming from or I Yeah, either I'm missing something which is totally possible. But there's a lot of missing. There's a lot of um, bond hair. I just don't under, I just don't understand. That's a random girl. You know what I mean? I just am confused why you would think that, you know, that's it. I was just hoping that you would explain. That crazy lady just emailed me again. I'm not even going to give them attention. Usually, I don't even read emails like that. I usually delete immediately. Why do I feel like this Oki Bree is probably the same lady that's sending me these crazy emails? I'm sorry, but that's, isn't that, a, I, I'm sorry if she, if, is some kind of guilty conscience or something? Like, as far as... What the heck? Did you guys see that? I could have sworn I just saw a flash out there. Can somebody rewind and see if that just lit up? Why did that just light up back there? <laughs> Hold on. Could have sworn. 
That was weird. Did anybody else see that? You saw it? What the hell was that? That's weird. I, mean, I guess it, maybe it's, hold on, I'm gonna do a, a screen recorder and show you guys. Must have missed it. One more time, I'm rewinding one more time to. Okay. It doesn't say there's any storms out. That's the first thing I checked was the weather. <laughs> Hold on, let me um right here. Okay, I'm emailing it to myself so I can show you guys the ones that I didn't see. I guess it could, I, are you in the path for the eclipse that's going over your state? Oh, really? Let me look at Shelbyville, Indiana weather. Well, actually, it does show, but it doesn't show doesn't show like it should be I need to find the radar <laughs> maybe it was it had to, it'd have to be uh lightning what else could it possibly have been I was like was I seeing things but I'll put show you guys just so you guys can um see what I was talking about okay Okay, I missed it that time, so watch here in a second. Right here, did you see it? There. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going crazy. There was actually a flash, but I don't, it, it's just weird. I didn't hear any thunder or lightning or anything or see, or I didn't see, hear any thunder. So I just thought that was strange, but it does look like some rain might be coming in, but headlights. Oh my, that was pretty bright, but Evansville, what's my email? Oh, YouTube Ziggy at outlook.com. Well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's stupid, Brie. I just don't know. I just didn't think I understood completely. Like, <laughs> the paparazzi. Carl, 
car headlights, you think? Hey, Mrs. Colt. You can't see an eclipse at night. Is there really? So there's going to be a full eclipse. And um, when's that? Hold on. Evansville. Wait. Eclipse. When's the next? April 8th, 2024. Oh, yeah, somebody sent me an article about the Cornbread Mafia, too, that I need to read. Something about how they saying it was dangerous or somebody, somebody came and did a YouTube video, I guess, about Cornbread Mafia saying that somebody I knew was murdered by them or something, that, that they're really dangerous, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Look at pictures. Um... Two days shine. Why are you sending me all this stuff? Holy crap. I'm not going to read you. Gosh, I looked, I checked my junk email. And that person has freaking sent me even more like in my spam. Because she's spamming it so, me so much. It's going straight to my spam and I didn't even flag it. Um, this is not junk. Okay. Have to move for some reason that yours was. Yeah, I'm guessing that I had to. Somebody sent me the, thank you for sending me the pictures. <laughs> that was crazy, though. I kind of think I hear, like, in the way, way distance, maybe some thunder. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go. I am getting tired. It's, like, 2 a.m., I just noticed. And thank you. Um, who was it? I think I just had the, oh, yeah, burn barrel for the cash app. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Burn barrel also sent me a um, birthday present out of nowhere. That was really, really thoughtful. This, this year's birthday was really, like, you guys made it, you know, Extra special. So, hey, Joy. Five p.m. There. Dang, where are you? Are you in Australia? Just blocked. We'll see what they do. It won't let me block them. Like, it just puts it. Like, I can flag them where they'll go to spam, but I can see it. Still see it. I have, um, there's one crazy lady that's messaged me. I get these lunatics every once in a while that I, I can't decide if it's usually, you know, sometimes I believe some of them are the same lunatics. Um, like they get tired and, and they take a break from their lunacy and then they go back to it. Like when you say something that upsets them or whatever, who knows who they are? I 
Oh, well, thank you, Lean On Me. Oh, you want to see the pic of the... Okay, I can I can show you the pic. Let me see which one's better. Pretty much the same. Uh, okay. So here is when the flash happened. Oh yeah, I think I had a couple of new members today too. Well, thank you, Wist. You're in Moscow, Idaho? She has obsessed with you. I don't know. It's probably, who knows? It's probably one of them that's changed their name and just there. I've had, you could tell with like the writing styles, like this person's writing style kind of reminds me of somebody that I've received emails from before, you know, but who, who, who knows? Like usually, you know how lunatics, they kind of type all talk the same. I know, right? If that was headlights, it would seem like I don't I don't think it could be headlights because there's the way there's no road that's perpendicular to that window. The road goes parallel and there's not even a driveway right there that would make sense. You know, somebody going in and out of a driveway or something. Burn Barrel was uh, in the chat. She she might still be here. She was under a K crime. She made my intro and that intermission that I just played. I just haven't, I just forget about the intermission. But uh, yeah, I get so many um, freaking compliments on that intro that she made. Oh no, what are you what are you and Scott talking about? Saw a comment that someone didn't think you had bones in your hands. I'm trying to figure that out. Is that supposed to be an insult? Do they really believe that? Are they one of those lunatics? Is this a rumor? Am I some other species? Or, or do they think I'm an alien? Jody Suskin. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly barefoot hill belly, but people park on that road too. So, oh, I just saw another flash. So it's got to be lightning. Gumby. Her, a lot of her used skins. Her used skins. Are you saying like the skins of people that she's like, um, wore as her own? <laughs> like Silence of the Lambs? Oh, geez. Just kidding, JC. We're just, we're just playing. You know, we love you. Like Eminem says.
I know they left um, Andy a TV and a new grill. All these people just left some trash, you know. I mean, come on. The death box. Yeah, does it have something to do with the death box? Like, no bones. See, of course, the first thing I thought of when I hear that, it makes me think of Judy Sue because she's always calling me bones, you know, and she's the only one. It's like stupid. Like, I only people who use that are people who are really lame. Like, that's not even funny. Or clever at all. You know what I mean? Like, they're, you could do better than that. Oh, that small grill. Is that, was that a new grill? I mean, it, it did look like it was pretty decent condition, actually. And he said, yeah, I had a great time. Oh, yeah, they're they're just good old buddies. I mean, Ryan did say he reminds him of his buddies. His drinking buddies or something like that. <laughs> Somebody messaged me, and I'm sure they want me to keep it anonymous, but they said... Do you think Ryan will show us pics of Jen with two heads from stirring the poop pot? Probably. Like anything to get him for him for views, like with that guy. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, seriously. <laughs> and he was proud of that shit he built at age 13. <laughs> Hey, right. Had a great time. Right. Exactly. Like looking for summer is supposed to be a good time. Like somebody just messaged me and said, they're like, so if, if Andy said, yeah, I had a great time. Okay. I had a great time. Um, searching for, uh, summer wells. Uh, probably she should now, Scott. I, I'm kind of, she probably should now after the radioactive slide she was stirring through. And why did Ryan put that on freaking camera? Like that just shows me he doesn't know what he is talking about or doing because why would he, I mean, that is embarrassing to his wife. Like I would be embarrassed if I was his wife, like seriously. And I know she's timid, so I know she would have to be embarrassed. I'm sorry, like, I don't want to add to that embarrassment, but it's, like, really, like, ridiculous. It's funny. Yeah, I know. Why? I don't get why they... But I kind of wonder, while I was listening to, to Ryan speak... I was just sitting there and listening and I could just tell though, that there was no loyalty. I could just tell that, well, I don't think Ryan is loyal to anybody. I think he'll turn on Andy. I guarantee it. I just hear the way he was talking. Like he, he wanted to, you know, like, I mean, he did try to put off blame on Fred for the, the mess on 125, I think to probably get a little bit on Andy's good side. But there's no, Ryan doesn't, is not loyal to anybody. Not that he should be, not that I'm saying anybody should have a loyalty. Um, but I think he's just a user and opportunist. You know what I mean? So,
you know, and I was kind of wondering, I was wondering who I got poop soup from. Um, and it was actually Daisy. We couldn't thank Daisy for that. I think it's Daisy. Isn't she the one that always says poop soup? Cause I was like, where the hell did I get poop soup? That's probably the most clever thing that Daisy's ever said. Hey, Ryan's just playing Andy because he wanted to search 125 and probably still aiming for Fields Road search too. Yeah, Fields Road is the one that everybody really wants. But I heard Fields Road was like the property was worse than 125. Like, especially, I think, the inside. I, I wish so too. I plead the fifth, but the thing is, is like they won't. A bunch of these people will not tell the truth. They're purposely putting out fake, false info, just reviews, like purposely doing it. You know, instead of, and instead of correcting themselves when they figure out. Diff well, first of all, they wouldn't have to. Like when you purposely put it out, that means you're not going to obviously correct yourself because you're purposely doing it for a reason and an agenda. And to for either <laughs> the, the, the reasons why somebody would be doing that, I mean, money, attention, and to because they're guilty of something. I don't know. But a lot of the creators um, in this community purposely, purposely, I've seen it over and over again. I, I could, I know for a fact certain things are lies because it, you know, well, some of it will be about me or whatever. I know for a fact they're lies and they, that, and I'll know for a fact that they know it's lies and they're sitting there saying it as if share is one of the worst share, um, Huh. Oh my God. Tiffany Marie, Benny Keys. Do I need to keep going on and on and on and on? The ones that purposely put out false info. Just a, Jody Sue, if you want to call her a YouTuber. My opinion, Andy Bernard, in a way. Yeah, Don Candace. <laughs> if people could just be honest and work together, you know, we're going to get information wrong accidentally, you know, sometimes. Like, that's like human error. That makes sense. But to purposely do it is a whole other, like, that's a whole other piece of shit. Like, you are just, like, low. Seriously. I don't know how anybody can support people like that. And we know for a fact, people, uh, absolute fact, those people that I just mentioned do that. Absolute fact. There's absolute evidence of that. And also absolute evidence of collecting money and not doing with it with what they said they were going to do. Andy's did admit to getting some kind of money from Don, but he wanted to say it was weed. Does Phil's Road have a gate in front of it? I guess so, Julia. Um, that I guess that was something that Andy had noticed on June 15th, but 
I guess there had been a gate there for a while and he just noticed it on June 15th. So that just shows like, well, why did you go to Fields Road? I mean, what would make you think Summer Wells like was going to be all the way over at Fields Road out of everywhere? Like the day he went, the day Summer went missing, he goes, he takes off to Fields Road, which is two miles away. Why would Summer be over at your, why are you go? he took off to go search the Fields Road property two, two miles away. Why would Summer be there specifically? I don't know. Does anybody else find that weird? I mean, we're not talking about like uh, a neighboring property. We're talking about two miles away. Oh, thank you so much, Trisha Burns. Thank you so much. And what about these rumors, too, that like something about selling property and the Bernards being afraid that something's going to be stashed on Phil's Road property? What is it? What's that about? I do think Candace knows the truth, especially now. <laughs> oh my God. I've definitely talked way too much about um, some of these people, especially Ryan, because he's I just don't think, I think he's really one of the grossest people in the community. I'm serious. He's right up there with those people I just mentioned. Seriously. And that's the type of people he's laying with too. If you know what I mean. And you lay with dogs, you get fleas, right? They searched Phil's Road on the 14th. They said they were looking for Summer Jack. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Trisha. That was really nice of you. <laughs> Good with shovels. I that shovel comment. He really, really, for some reason, that bothered him. Us talking about his shovel. I mean, I understand it's a military grade tool and stuff, and it's really useful, but why is it the only tool that you, <laughs> I mean, it's just weird. Like that's your one tool. <laughs> like with, <laughs> yeah, I heard about that too. And I thought that was another attention grabber. You know, I don't know. For some reason, I put, say one, you know, thing about a video that she did about some things she was saying about Fred. And ever since then, she's been like after me and really trying to get me to go back after her and stuff and think, trying to get me to go back and forth with her so she can get views and subscribers and become monetized and stuff. But so I wasn't even going to mention it. But yeah, um, no, that's not a blue couch. It's a dark chocolate couch. And it, it's so dark that it could even pass as black. And it's like a pleather or leather, leather type couch. The blue couch is not a pleather or leather type couch. It's a cloth type couch. Where have you been? Nice try. Like what? Uh, you know what I mean? That just shows. That's a perfect example right here. What Kathy's talking about. That's a perfect example. 
purposely doing that stuff. You know what I mean? And then acting dumb in the comments like, oh, I didn't know. Show me a description of this blue couch. Hey, Linda. Who knows? I might have not met him. I don't LTL. I don't know. I was really determined to meet him. That was my that was my really like my number one goal. I wasn't going to leave without meeting him because that I was just determined. You could ask Kathy. I was definitely not going to because yeah. And thank God I did because I don't know who knows like when we would have ever heard from him, if ever. I don't know. Laura, you don't understand what I've gone through with him. You have no idea. I don't think you um, understand at all. <laughs> There's more to, there's a lot to that story. And I get it. I get why people would, see, that's the thing. That's what they're going to do. People are going to get, they're, see, and Ryan knows that. He knows that people are going to be like, it's going to tug on their heartstrings, him searching for a little girl, okay? And he's doing all these videos and these, he was literally up on the hill for less than an hour, guys up on 125 for less than an hour. How much searching did he do? He, he Seriously, their cars were there for a period of less than an hour. And I know this because Fred just so happened to be there and Kathy and her son the same day that they were up there. And their cars were only there for less than an hour period of time because, and the reason why they knew that is because of when they had came in and out a few times. And the cars were there, there at one point, or wasn't there at one point, and there at one point, and not, you know what I mean? So, I know Ryan thinks that he was being stalked or something, but that's not the case at all. Nobody knew he was going to be up there. And that was the very first time that Fred had been out there since he got arrested in June of 2023, you know? And of course, to the person that just said I was critical of uh, this man, did you see what he was, I mean, at, what about the stuff that he's like, like he was saying, oh, trying to act like the, the trash up on 125 was because of Fred. Like, you don't see what he's doing. I mean, I can see people who come from nowhere or don't know much about the case or who, you know, are new to the case would like see him and be like, oh, he's really trying to do a good thing, you know, because that's what I thought. It's another Chase 420 situation. I promise you, you guys will see, okay? Like, I don't, I'm not going to keep trashing this dude. Somebody in chat brought him up. Um... Yeah, we're uneducated because we didn't know, because we were joking about the little, you know what I mean? His little jabs he makes. It's not like he's innocent. He says, oh, if people, people ask us how we, what, or how we don't clap back. Dude, you do clap back. You write posts, novel long posts about shovels. You know what I mean? Like, stop, please. Please, you're a fraud. And you guys, I promise you, you all see. This is all my opinion, though, but my opinion only. You'll see over time, I promise you. Truth always comes to light. It always comes to light. Now, I'm not saying that he has some crazy background or anything, but I'm saying I don't know if I believe him his supposed credentials because he is not profession professional at all. 
that's what I'm more looking to is this supposed credentials that he has on some kind of website of his. Because I know I saw some website of his once or something. He claimed to have all these um, credentials and was on the History Channel and all this stuff. And I was like thinking this guy was the real deal, you know what I mean? And could really help Fred. And um, cause I was really worried. This was earlier on when Fred was just early on when he was in jail, when, um, Ryan started to come around, Ryan didn't come around till like August of 2023. That's as that's when he started coming around to this community. He came out of nowhere. He had like a hundred and some subscribers when he came, um, started doing these videos about Summer Wells. Before he came, you know, I'm the one that shared his videos and put him out there. Not that I care or feel like I need any type. I don't. But the thing is, the guy is a major. He. He's just a user. You'll see. You guys will see. I might have been critical of him, but I have my reasoning. I know, like it doesn't make sense. Don't people know that birds of a feather flock together? Why would it, look at the people he's surrounding himself with and make and you know what I mean? Like purposely setting himself and that's just showing to me like the type of person he is. Help Fred. I don't know what you mean, discovering truth. When did I say anything about helping Fred? Or what are you talking about? Did I say something about helping Fred? Oh, helping Fred about, oh, you mean Ryan? Well, Ryan, was. that's the thing. That's what he was using to lure his way in is what i'm saying i that's on him why why was his intentions to help fred he, he yeah it, it should be what about summer exactly but it's on that dude like why that's the same stuff that he's now saying about andy and talking about how oh he wants to make sure that andy doesn't get falsely you know, he's being falsely um, accused and he was all about that. Ryan was all about Fred being falsely accused at the beginning, everything. And now all of a sudden he's like got evidence of Fred being guilty of something. What is this something? Yeah, discovering truth. I know what you mean now. He probably paid Andy. <laughs> I or something. Yeah, that's the type of person he is. He, from what I hear, allegedly, somebody said that he, I haven't seen it. If anybody has any proof of this, please send it to me, that he had a Facebook post. Um, talking about how he hired an investigator, a private investigator, to find the next big story in the media, like the missing persons case, the next big one in the media. That's how, like, much this dude wants attention. Shouldn't that tell people a lot right there? That shouldn't be what it's about. Just like Jody Sue supposedly buying views, like, why are you in this community? I know it was weird. Isn't that slander? Which part? It matters. If it's true, it's not slander, right? Yeah. 
matters. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about things that... <sighs> oh, guys, I do have to go. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys so much. And I will see everybody tomorrow. Good night, everybody.